Many 90 Day Fiancé cast members opt to protect themselves with a prenup as they progress towards marriage, but some couples battled it out until finally coming to an agreement. Discussing prenups on 90 Day Fiancé is a common occurrence. Between the stigma of inviting a foreigner to America and marrying someone in a short time frame, it's understandable that couples would want to protect themselves. Most couples opted out of a prenup at the end of the discussion. For instance, Michael Yesen and Juliana Custodio had lengthy conversations about a prenup. Aside from the mediation session to determine how to split assets, Michael's ex-wife was even involved in pushing for a prenup. However, Michael eventually decided against it. Other couples decided it was best to sign a prenup, anyway. This was the case for Chantel Everett and Pedro Jimeno from the family Chantel and 90 Day Fiancé. In order to support their wedding, Chantel's parents wanted Pedro to sign a prenup. Despite the conflicts between the couple and Chantel's family, Pedro agreed. However, sometimes the turmoil leading up to whether to sign sticks out most to viewers. Number 3, Hamza Mokani and Memphis Smith Memphis Smith was married before and has two children. So it made sense that she wanted a prenup to ensure her family would be protected. But Hamza Mokani wasn't as understanding. To him, talking about a prenup was breathing in the possibility of divorce and highlighting her distrust. Eventually, he agreed to sign, but Memphis couldn't have the document in time for the wedding. As a result, she decided on a postnuptial agreement, which is like a prenup, only created after marriage. Once again, Hamza reluctantly agreed. However, now rumors of the two splitting have spread like wildfire and viewers are unsure if a contract was signed or where that would leave the riotous couple. Number 2, Mark Shoemaker and Nikki Mediano Shoemaker Although this controversial couple had a 39-year age gap, that was the least of their concerns. Mark Shoemaker wanted Nikki Mediano Shoemaker to sign a prenup. The prenup was non-negotiable, and if Nikki refused to sign it, he would send her back to the Philippines. Left with no choice, Nikki went to see a lawyer who described the contract as a terrible agreement and had many strict details that wouldn't benefit her. In the end, Nikki signed the papers, but the couple is now splitting ways. Although fans are happy to see Nikki free of such a controlling relationship, that also means she got the short end of the stick. Number 1, Shaida Sween and Bilal Hatsis Similar to Memphis, Bilal Hatsis was previously married and has children with his ex-wife. He also has a successful business, so he's concerned about his wealth if 90 Day Fiancé's Shaida Sween were to leave him. As a result, he confronted her with a prenup on a romantic date, and they've been on rocky ground ever since. However, Shaida, learning from the advice of her birdies, and Nikki, ensured the contract benefited her as well. Although the couple have had a difficult time coming to an agreement, a recent episode revealed Bilal was willing to do anything to prove his love to Shaida. Although some viewers feel similarly to Juliana or Shaida, there are many benefits that come along with a prenup. While there can be an undertone of distrust, if cast members took notes from 90 Day Fiancé's Shaida, there's a way to make sure both parties are happy, which should be the primary point of a marriage. On the other hand, fans can argue that prenup discussions added to their turmoil, which is why two out of these three couples are no longer together.
In the end, relationships aren't easy and viewers are wishing the best for these 90 Day Fiancé stars.